Violent unrest in Venezuela. Some protesters were actually run over by the military vehicles as opposition supporters clashed with government forces. The coup attempt is being watched very closely. President Trump supporting an overthrow there. And here in Boston, as Jim Smith explains, the chaos as Venezuelans fearing for their loved ones. A long day of protest stretched into the night in Venezuela. Demonstrators out in force met by government soldiers firing weapons. At one point, an armored military vehicle running over some protesters in Caracas. Watching closely Tuesday night, Manuel Reindon, born in Venezuela. He runs this restaurant in Lynn, and he says many relatives and friends are taking to the streets of his native country. What's happening today is actually is, is, is something that everybody wanted most people in Venezuela and hopefully end it quick. Are you worried about the safety of your family back there? Of course. Do you think it's time for a change with the president? Definitely. It is a, a, a time for change. El momento es ahora. Opposition leader Juan Guaido has declared himself the interim president. Guaido is calling on the military to join Operation Libertad, an uprising to topple Nicolas Maduro's government. He has the support of the U.S. We've watched the events unfold today. We were urging there to be a nonviolent solution. Uh, Maduro simply should leave. Back in Lynn, Manuel hopes for change but worries. I feel really, really sorry for the people from Venezuela. The government leader Maduro made a speech tonight claiming the uprising has been defeated, but the situation on the ground is very fluid. Reports of injuries or any possible deaths are still being confirmed. I'm Jim Smith, WBZ News.